Wasting no time because I'm sneezing a bunch tonight and blowing my nose. It's driving me nuts. I need to go to bed early here. We got a returning slot filler, if you want to call it that, I see. And he's asked me to do two specific free battles with the stack. And if you got a good glimpse of it before I went to go on here, it's a deck that you often see Tyrese Jackson run over on his channel. And that's to get the max damage off when doing your ultimate attack. So, we're going to be here for quite a bit, doing two free battles. Anyway, two of figure 656, ultimate Gohan, max investment into HP for some reason. <laughs> Figure 515, um, I'm not sure why you would go with this Bardock. Personally, I think the first Bardock is better, but... And when I say that, I mean the first Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. But for the, for the sake of what this deck is trying to do, this is fine too. With max investment and HP, both Gohan, defensive second, defensive second two, ultimate key shot every turn. Bardock with defensive second two, attack up, uh, attack down ODU and ultimate gauge up. Turn 9, max investment in HP. For Vados, max investment in HP, defensive second, defensive second 2, and I checked, there is no attack down every turn. It just, you can see that I'm not bullshitting. Let's go into that really quick. Just go into the character skills list. So let's go to the down effects. As you're going to see here, there is no attack down every turn. So because it's Vados, and personally I think the team's not going to be hitting hard enough. I mean, I get that that's the idea. You're trying to do max damage with the ult, but anyway. I went ahead and gave her attack of second two. And, uh, yeah, with that out of the way, let's get started. Sorry about that. Stupid nose is still bothering me. <laughs> I'm in a hurry to get these two free battles done so I can go and get some rest here. I unfortunately don't have any night cool on me. And I need to get up early to go to the GameStop. Thankfully, I have a two-year warranty on my controller that I was having issues with earlier this morning. I was having issues with it again later, still jittering, and randomly the light for it will just decide not to come on when I turn it on. So thankfully I got the warranty on that. I'll get that resolved later. For now I've more or less completely eliminated the stick drift. Very important in my opinion to get warranty on any of your accessories. Because of shit like that. Very weird for me having that stick drift issue considering that I wrap tape around the necks of my controllers. Electrical tape. To prevent that sort of stick drift problem. Really not sure what caused that. But, oh well. Thankfully that's what the warranty's for. I'll stop bitching about it now. Like I said, you're comfy where you're going to be here a bit. For a couple of free battles. Bottles isn't going to be able to kill either free battle in just uh, nine turns, so I wouldn't worry about that. Though if it's starting to look like that at all for this for the um second free battle, I'll just switch that to like old gauge down the return. Because I really do want to get that um alt thing off. 
Alright, so we'll do this again. I'm going to be avoiding uh, counterattacks on Vegeta like the plague. For obvious reasons. I'll do it for two times. I might need some water here in a minute. It's a little bit hot in here, admittedly. How much is this deal? A yeah, considerable amount. Nope, I'm gonna skip that. You know what I think I'm gonna give Vados instead? Just give her a defense up bath. Cause why not? But I really don't want the additional attack each turn to be a problem at all. Even though I don't think it will be. Unfortunately, poor Malice threw up earlier. We both seem to not be feeling too well this evening. Exciting, everyone. I'm joking, of course, but yeah, that's my like one and only complaint when it comes to um, fights like these. They drag on. You got one defensive setup going up against another defensive setup. Only difference with. The one on our side, the ult is supposed to wipe the entire enemy field. You know what actually might be more beneficial to Vados, come to think of it? Defensive damage. Probably do that instead. Because then that way, Gohan and... Well, both Gohans will get a defense boost anytime she gets hit. And I think it also counts for her, if I'm not mistaken. It's a waste of time to take these, but whatever. We're only doing 2-3 battles on this deck, so why not? Nice, Vital says it didn't even trigger square. <laughs> I 
Thankfully, we'll be dealing max damage to the Master, so we don't really have to worry at all about losing due to figure HP. That is, assuming that we and Boss um, aren't both on the field, because I'm not sure if we'll be able to do enough to, like, do the maximum damage if they're both on the field. I want to say yes, but I can't be entirely sure. Lovely FPS dip, even though I have the um, priority on the EAC thing set to high. To be fair, I see that issue more commonly with the Hero Coliseum mode than anything, at least on the PC version. Not yet. We are going to have to wait on that. That's a problem. Um, let me go blow my nose here. Give me a sec. I'm going to pause it. Yeah, that is actually a problem, though. I forgot my controller, of course. Okay, let's look at go on. Yeah, he's not going to deal enough damage. How much ult does that give again? Not that, not that. 30%, that's quite huge. Um... <sighs> I mean, I don't really have much of a choice here. I'm gonna just put Broly down for the time being. Because I really want to make sure that I keep that ult. And I doubt Broly's gonna be able to kill the Vados here. We shall see. Yeah, I definitely need to be putting defense up, uh, damage on her. I'm gonna go ahead and ignore the thing there. The counterattack. Never mind, Broly kills them. I wonder if it would have been better to just do the ult with Gohan, but eh. have much choice here. I don't think this is a good free battle for this kind of deck. They don't have a whole lot of ultimate gauge down every turn. That's the big issue. So we're just going to put down Broly for this turn. See what he does. <sighs> Broly will be okay. It's just Whis. On the bread side, I think we're going to see the next damage, if not very close to. He should live. Yeah, he's good. Ouchie. Let's see, will this deal the max? Nope. Still pretty high, though. Uh, 
Alright, next up, and is he Goku? I forget which free battle he is. I know he's closer to the bottom. There he is. God, these breakers, loading screens look so freaking good. I tend to put them to go on, and I forgot to change the character skill on Vados. Uh, let's go do that really quick, just to be on the safe side. <sighs> so we'll get rid of attack up second two and put on one of the damage skills. Line of defense to all eyes on the field when you are attacked, compared to three hundred and fifty in in the front row. Stacking my turn only. Um, yeah, you know what? Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. Since so it's so much higher. I don't think I'm going to need it on Valos, but it doesn't hurt. <sighs> Can hardly believe it. We're already halfway done. <sighs> I'm surprised it went to the very first loading screen because still have the other special ones. Right, the Vados. Oops. This is gonna hurt. Not. Just put down two Gohans and Vios, you're immortal. It's obnoxious. Wanna be even more of a prick? Put on um, attack up second two. ADM up second and even um Yeah, attack up second two, ADM up second, and defensive second two. Assuming you already have an ultimate gauge on a return unit on the field that you're confident that won't go down. Vados is a good example of that, I'd say. I'm gonna skip all the counterattacks this time. Skip it. All right, again. Go ahead and 
take the 110. Let's see, 535, 563, that's about right. We'll skip that one as well. And skip. Six more turns of this, basically. Well, more like five. Not sure why Vilos is hitting so dang hard. What's Barak do again? 5% damage dealt by all eyes. What does Gohan do again? 10% ultimate attack damage, repeatable. Okay. Goku is technically buffed right now from his trigger square. By that I mean the UI Goku. No, no counter attack. Normally I like to go for them, but I can't with this. At least what I'm trying to do with this deck anyway. And what I'm, what I'm sure Icy wants me to do with it. I recommend going over to Tyrese Jackson's channel if you want to see this sort of thing often. Just know though that... Um, it is kind of the same thing across several videos. That's why I like trying to change it up. They really should have optimized the PC version better. Let's 
skip the counter attack. Go again. This is the entire fight. Luckily, just one more turn of this after, and then we can finally unleash Mayhem with Broly. Of course, another counterattack with Vados. I don't know why she's so good at getting those. time, and then we'll put down Brawly. Still not even reaching 1k damage. Shit up that much, holy crap. <laughs> All right, ultimate time with Broly. Hopefully Broly lives, otherwise we're in trouble. I want to say he does live. I don't know why I bothered trying. Skip that, and then we'll watch this, because I'm actually very paranoid. Please live. Really, now? Alright, well I guess that's a flop. Um... Yeah, that's the match. We, lo we lose there, actually. Um, but regardless, hope you all enjoyed. I'm quite tired. I'm going to go get some rest here. I hate to end the video on a loss like that, but really can't help it. That's just how it goes sometimes. But anyways, I'll see you guys next vid. I'm going to go get some rest here. Peace.